another prediction here for you we got it's a, it's another one of those mixed bags but lately both of them have been doing fairly well so you know joanna that's that's tough and then jessica Andrade, that's another tough one especially in 2015 and 2016 then you got danielle taylor who ironically was knocked out brutally by emily ducote i think that's how you say her name or emily ducote I'm gonna have to look into that but is currently on a win streak against lupita and carolina she, she's not necessarily great in any area she's kind of good enough and very tough and durable and it kind of plays into her hand now over here we got emily 11 wins six losses now if you take a look she was in bellator for a minute getting some experience she started off on a two-fight win streak actually lost one and then one another, well, two more. So she was, she was four and one. But then something happened here. She ended up losing three in a row. They had to move on, get some more experience, get some more fights. Last loss was in 2019, split decision. And then she started winning. And she started winning by KO. So I know Jessica took a quite a beating against Joanna. It, it was, it was pretty brutal. And against Jessica Andrade. No shame in that because both of them are just crazy on the feet. But it looks like Emily is getting more confident on the feet. She's starting to get some KOs under her belt now. I feel like Emily's going to win. I, again, don't didn't feel like Jessica really won that Lupita fight. I know she's tough. I know she's been around for a long time. But Emily's got some momentum. It's only one more fight win streak than Jessica. But... Emily's been winning her fights more clear and decisively, so I'm going to lean a little bit more towards Emily. And she's been putting people away with the hands, and that's, you know, good good win by beating Carolina, uh, Carolina by submission, but the fight going to start on the feet, and I think Emily's going to have the advantage there, and she's going to either put her, she's going to put Jessica away there or take a decision, so I'm leaning more towards Emily. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.